platform is actually showing us some pretty good insights. So I'm on the main view. If I click this little arrow here at the right, it's going to take me to a exploded view of sectors. I'm looking at the S&P 500, so I got it up here. That's all I'm looking at. But I want you guys to pay attention to this part right here. So I actually have on the right the score. Just ignore this part in the middle for right now. Just look at this part over here. So the score is showing me a chart, icon, the inner circle, the um, valuation, and fundamentals. Now, a lot of ETF people, they ask me this all the time. They say, man, I wish there was a way for me to analyze an ETF or a sector based upon all the stocks that are in it, but do it individually so I can get a composite score of what the sector is doing based upon what its components are doing. And that's exactly what this does. So when I see green over here for basic materials, what it's saying is that overall, when we look at basic materials for um, as a sector, most of the companies in basic materials are doing well. They have good solid fundamentals so far. When we look at valuation, it's showing me yellow, which basically means that overall, the stocks in the S&P, they're in the basic materials sector. Overall, they have a intermediate valuation. They're not, too, they're not low and expensive, but they're not expensive either. They're just in a happy medium. But we are seeing this pattern here for inner circle. Notice that for every sector we're looking at, for the S&P, the inner circle's in the red. Every last one of them. And we know what that means. We were just looking at it when we looked at uh, Walmart and um, Amazon, et cetera. Our Twitter was the last one we looked at. When institutions sell, markets go down because they have all the money. So when you got trillions of dollars being of shares being sold as big funds liquidate holdings, whether they're liquidating all together or in part, you get a downward move in the markets. This is the absolute proof that who's in the driving seat. It's the big players. It's the bigger funds. And because they're selling, even if the fundamentals look good, if they're selling, if I keep seeing all these red O's, basically, that's not a good sign. And that's exactly what we're seeing. So there may be some, some, some sectors that are going to get to a point where they're at a value, but it's not going to go up. And I, I, I can't overstate this enough. You're not going to see a rally in any sector unless big players start buying. Otherwise, no chance. So we need to see these, these uh, inner circles start to turn green or yellow. You know, at least they're slowing down. So if I see like a yellow here and it's green over there, that's good. But we're not seeing that. But if I look at individual companies within that space, let's go to consumer since we we're just talking about that. So if I look at the consumer, um, the consumers here, I have personal services. There's only one stock apparently in there for that one. But there it is. It has yellow and it has good valuation. Fundamentals are intermediate. So maybe that's a safer stock to get. So if I check out which one that is, it's Rollins Incorporated. I don't know anything about Rollins Incorporated, but there it is. I just discovered a stock that looks like it's doing better than most others in its, uh, in its particular uh, industry. Now, if I look at others, um, let's look at furnishings. Okay, so, oh, there you go. There's Leg Mason. Or, sorry, Legged and Platt. Sorry, not Leg Mason. Legged and Platt, uh, if I said that correctly. But I recognize this company because they do furnishings. And what this is showing me is that they have solid fundamentals, a solid valuation. They're currently neutral. In other words, institutions don't seem to want to sell this stock. They seem okay with it. And the chart is pretty flat. So what this is saying is if you rebalance your portfolio, to where you put more money into something like this stock, most likely your portfolio would suffer less from the overall market decline, right? So if you start to move into the stocks that are not being sold, but are being held, that would actually help you tremendously um, if, you know, if done with the right timing. And of course, that's what the platform provides. And what it's telling me right now is as of today, uh, this company is actually improving. It's almost all green. So if I'm looking for a potential buy, something I can get into that's not going to get hit so hard by the overall sell-off, this might be it. Now, it doesn't mean that everyone loves this company. I mean, we have 
72 fewer buyers and we have 27 more sellers, institutional ownership is up 0.52%. But when we look at the numbers, which is what the software is tracking, the bigger numbers of how many shares are being sold or purchased, this one is still looking fairly solid. So this is a good example of how we can use the system, the software, to actually automatically locate stocks within sectors that might be able to perform a little better than others. And I could do that for any sector I want and any industry I want. I could look through it and see which stocks are looking like they're in good shape. But as long as the institutions are selling, as I said before, as long as they're selling, then that sector or that stock is going to be pushed lower. So we have to always keep that in mind. So I would say this is the time where you want to only focus on stocks that look something like, you know, here's Charter, doesn't show the red in the circle. That's the one you want to be more focused on right now. All the others, even if they have good fundamentals, hold off. They'll probably go down lower, and then eventually you'll get a chance to buy in as soon as you start to see those institutions back off from selling. And one last thought, institutions are not going to respond on a whim. They look at information carefully. They study it over time. They have their expectations. So when they move, they move decisively. So if we see that the institutional selling dries up, then that means that we're probably safe. Um, it's probably a good time to start buying. So I would say if the stock's not in the buy yet, wait to that the institutional activity of selling slows down. And that's where you want to start looking for your buys.